Hey there, fabulous dancer, and welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the first time that you've joined me, thank you so much for being here. I cannot wait to share the dance floor with you today. If you enjoy these kinds of free belly dance and finger symbol tutorials, be sure that you press like and subscribe to my channel so that I can send you brand new belly dance content every single week. In this video, we are going to break down what I consider the most basic fundamental Saidi step, uh, and I call it the Saidi basic one because I haven't come up with a better name for it. But this is the step that if you're going to introduce a hint of Saidi into a song, say the Saidi rhythm comes on, you want to give a nod to it as you should to see that you recognize that and you're going to be doing some folkloric movement to the folkloric rhythm. This, my friends, is the one to start with, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and just give it a try. I want you to do it with me. I'm going to face the other way, and then I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in depth. But I want you to kind of get the idea of the step. It's a step brush to begin with. So you're stepping open, you're brushing the leg, and you're lifting from the thigh, lifting the knee up, and you end up in a bent position. And then you're going to step on the other side and brush. So it's a step brush lift, step brush lift. If you'll notice, I'm doing a teeny tiny little heel lift in the standing foot every time my knee gets up to the top. You want to think good posture, abdominals in, right, so that you get a little bit of a weightless feel as you lift yourself up onto that toe or onto the ball of the foot ever so slightly. It's not very big, right? This is the basic idea. Now, Let's talk about some nitty gritty details because this is what makes or breaks this move. Because it is so cultural and because it has a, a very distinctive flavor to it, I find there's lots of ways to do it like quote unquote incorrectly. There's lots of things we might accidentally do that takes away from that Saidi feel. So item number one, being sure that the brush is truly a brush and is never a kick. Let me show you from the side. When I step and get ready to do this leg lift, you'll notice I am brushing my foot on the floor like I am pushing a penny with my toe as far forward as I can, and then lifting. As I lift, you're engaging the abdominals. You wanna be sure you never lift by using sort of your, your body to kind of counterbalance. Engaging the abdominals, lifting from the thigh, and you're gonna end up at an angle which as I look at lots of Saidi performers with my engineering goggles on, I feel like it's a little less than parallel here and a little more open than 90 degrees here. Obviously, work with your body and see what feels good to you, but I want you to know this is not about height. It's not about getting it way up here, right? So you want to think about slightly less than parallel to the floor and a slightly obtuse angle, not an acute one, right? So a little bit op more open than your 90 degrees is where you're going to go. While you're doing that, while you're on one leg, you're then going to do a little heel lift and drop on the standing foot. This lift and drop is very small and it's very subtle. And here's the key. It's way more about the down than the up. This is something that I think it's easy for us to kind of get mixed up in. We see the heel lift and we think up, up and it becomes kind of this bouncy upward movement when really the up i say it's just because we want to go down the up is there to facilitate the down it's almost like the up is the move before the move and the down is the thing right because that down is the feel of the saidi the saidi is a grounded very folky very earthy movement and so you want to think or in a very earthy kind of dance right so we don't want to think up up we want to think and down and down and down. If that's feeling good, let's go ahead and drill it with music. All right, fabulous dancer, take a deep breath up. We'll start with our Saidi bass. We'll go on five, six, here we go. Are you brushing that foot? Are you thinking down, down, and down, and down? And down. Arms are nice and strong. Let's change the arms. If you're not spinning a cane, this arm, this hand can be beautiful here. We're doing, you know, the women's variation of the dance. So the hand can be gentle or you can keep it strong. Let's change the arms. How you doing? Keep breathing. 
Chaps aren't getting a workout yet. I'll bring the arms back to second. I'm going to turn around to face you just to change the angle. Keep it going. Switch the arms. If you'd like, you can try walking it forward a little bit. Switch the arms, walk it back. Good. Bring the arms back down to second. Four more. And pause. Nice job. Oh my goodness, fabulous dancer. It was so much fun sharing the dance floor with you. If you've enjoyed this and you are looking to get a solid foundation for an amazing belly dance journey of your own, I invite you to join me for my free belly dance jumpstart, a seven day program delivered to your email inbox and you can get started today. Join me now at sahirabellydances.com slash jumpstart and I look forward to dancing with you there.